What's up guys, I'm Game Wizard, and in this video, we are going to continue the story. Uh, first we have to go check out Ursarang, uh, see what's up with that. So, let's get right in. Oh, it's Volo again. Ah oh, yes, my super cool plates. Alright, so now I gotta go get more plates. Alright, more nobles. Oh, smoke bombs. That'll let me uh, sneak up on Pokemon. Uh, okay, that, that little sound effect was kind of creepy. 107. Okay, so this, this is kind of like finding Koroks. That's kind of strange. All right, before I do anything else, let me just get my second star. Oh, yeah. Nice. Feather balls. Cool. Ursa Luna. Okay, I guess that's the next, uh, lord. All right, so I get to go to a new area. Oh, she wants to battle again. Okay. One shot. Let's go. Aw, oh, man. Getting paralyzed right before using a, a strong style move is not good. Okay, that was harder than I thought it was going to be, but we still won. There we go. All right, here we go. Crimson Marlins. All right, the space-time distortions. So you can find rare Pokemon in there. Cool. The Carnivine right here I can snag. Nice. Man, there's not a lot of new Pokemon here. Uh-oh. Come on. Dang, why do I... <laughs> kind of sucks that I don't know how to swim. Oh, here's another alpha. Can I catch this one, though? Nope, I can't. Oh, this is where the I got the new tumble stone, so I can craft those feather balls. Yeah, there's a Pachiriso down there. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, let's craft some of these feather balls. A ball that flies fast and true, ideal for catching nimble Pokemon or Pokemon that fly high in the air. Okay, so I guess it just... It was fast. Oh, shoot. There's an alpha. <laughs> All right. I got some of those roots, so now I can make some smoke bombs. Oh, hey. There's another one of these wisps things. Oh, man. I got hit by that poison. Oh, shoot. Am I going to block out? Okay. No, I'm good. Oh, yeah. Let's try to get this ghastly. Uh-oh. And the stunkies here. That's not good. Oh, and there's an alpha skun tank. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> Why are you running? <laughs> Strange that they don't like the balls of mud, even though they literally live in the mud. And I think they're made of mud, too. It's kind of weird. I do want this Haunter, though. So, let's actually try out my Spoke Bomb. I can, I, I can get out my Heavy Ball and just sneak up right behind this guy. Ah, uh, this one turned around. Nice. Uh, Hippo down. That's not super angry. Never mind, it's still super angry. Oh, and it's too high level to catch anyways. Oh, and an Onyx. Seriously, everything in this game has rollout. What the heck? Nice. <laughs> Since when has a giant rock stopped anyone? Alright, let's report our data. Nice. A space-time distortion is forming. Gonna have to check that out. Alright, here it is. Let's check this out. I'm not seeing anything out of the ordinary, though. These are all Pokemon that already spawn here. Although we did catch that Graveler, it's... Yeah, they, they spawn all over. So I'm not actually seeing anything too weird. Which is a little disappointing. Oh, a Firestone. Heck yeah, I'm taking that. Oh, now we're getting the interesting Pokemon. There we go. Anything else cool? An Umbreon and an Eevee. Oh, I am taking this opportunity. Oh, I can't save. Oh, that's not good. Oh, holy crap. Okay, so stuff just kind of randomly appears. But I lost my chance to get an Eevee. That sucks. 
Yeah, this is what I was looking for. <gasps> There's an EV. Oh, shoot. Who wants to fight? Uh, Just the EV, please. Nope. Oh, they're all here. That's not good. Yeah, let me run real fast. Oh, no. Oh, man, I gotta run. Holy cow. Oh, my gosh, leave me alone. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's so hard to just fight the Pokemon you want to. Yes, okay, I started the battle with the Eevee just in time. Why is Eevee so strong? There we go. Nice. And the distortion's gone. I think I think he was actually disappearing uh, right as I started the battle with Eevee, so it's a good thing I threw my Pokemon when I did. Come on, get the berry. Aw, oh, man. Just, there we go. Awesome. Alright, that jet ball is super satisfying to use. Uh, I actually caught that Tedursa because I was planning on putting it on my future team. There we go. Now I just gotta evolve this into Ursa Ring, and then we can get the item to make it to its final evolution. Man, it's super annoying that you can't ride a weird deer while you're poisoned. So you kind of just have to hope nothing else hits you. Alright, here's the next Warden. I mean, isn't that kind of what we do anyways? You either nail him in the back or you beat him up with your Pokemon first. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why is Volo even out here? He keeps following me. Hawkeye's noise sounds really cool with the echo. That Togepi's gonna be annoying when it's fully evolved. And a Gibble. Alright, that's gonna suck as a Garchomp. Because I'm assuming Volo's going to continue to battle us throughout the entire story. Stolen wall fragment. Huh. Well, I guess we gotta go find him now. What the heck? <laughs> These guys look ridiculous. Not the kind of bandits I was... picturing. Oh, this even tells you, like, everything about the enemy. That's pretty nice. But Toxicroak is a f fighting type, so flying is going to destroy him. Too easy. Seriously, the others aren't even going to fight me? They're just too scared that they just give it back? Come on, swim. I'm right here. Why can't I just... Oh my gosh. My character is kind of pathetic. Let's try to nail this ghastly in the back as soon as it turns around. There we go. Come on. Okay. Feather balls are awesome. Because just nailing Pokemon from far away is super easy and super fun. Soothing. Okay. I clearly don't know the unknown alphabet very well. It's kind of hard on the eyes. Yeah, okay. There you go. Alright, now we're ready to go Commerce or Luna. Alright, here we go. And it's just right there. Okay. I probably shouldn't be leading with Tadursa. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Shoot, I also forgot to heal Hawkeye. That's not good. I guess we're going with Shark. Because this guy is a ground type. Nice, got a crit. Oh my gosh, that slash is so much damage. Well, hopefully I can get some damage in as Hawkeye before he takes me out. Might as well go for a strong style because I think I can take him out. Oh, come on. All right, Antonio. The first time I've ever used you. There we go. Yeah, he wasn't like Cleavor. Hmm. Oh, do I get to ride Ursulina as well? And Ursulina is good at digging for treasure. Okay. Oh, yeah, you do get to ride him. Okay, that is awesome. I don't think Ursulina can really jump so it's it's kind of only for finding treasure all right Leventon. oh an unknown huh okay 
So I guess you just gotta solve clues and stuff and go and find them. What? I guess the balls just lose their uh, effectiveness if it's thrown too far. And let's give Tadursa a new name. Dang, I just can't think of any good names. So I guess I'm just gonna put in a placeholder. All right, well, let's report all the stuff. It's a lot of Pokemon. Okay, there we go. We can be a third star now. Oh, great balls. Awesome. Hi, Alpha Ursa Ring. Don't mind me. Ah, it's so annoying that they just knock you off uh, any Pokemon you're riding. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, my... <laughs> just hit me with the biggest laser I've ever seen. Ooh, a Ralts. I'm not going to use it on my team, but I should probably start getting its stuff done. Alright, here's another space-time distortion thing. An Umbreon! Oh, I gotta catch that. Oh my gosh, I wish things weren't so chaotic in here. Why is this ball of lightning chasing me? Dang it, it didn't get in the ball, no! I gotta get all the evolutions, so I should try to catch every Eevee I've come across. Nice, got that one. Aw, oh, man. Alright, well, might as well snag this Luxio. Aw, oh, man. I'm gonna start looking for a peat block, because that's the item that, uh, lets Ursa Ring evolve. Oh, Black Aquarite. That's actually what you need to evolve Scyther into Cleavor. Dang it. Oh, that's a Turtwig. Oh, okay, I gotta catch that right after I dig for this. All right. What? Oh, there's another one. Something on that log. Oh, <laughs> it's an unknown. All right. I guess let's just uh, chuck a ball at it then. All right, there we go. We got one of the unknown. Uh, looks like M. It's the peat block. Oh my gosh, finally. I don't have space for it, though. And a hippo shooting fire at me. Come on, we gotta pick it up before we die. Ah, uh, finally. Man, finding that was... That took too long. I don't actually know what level uh, Tadursa evolves. So I'm just gonna use a, a large candy on it. Oh, that, oh, that's a lot of levels. But I actually I think that was just enough. Alright, well, now we can evolve it into an, uh, a Nursa Ring. And now that we have the peat block, we can get an Ursa Luna. Man, I don't know why, but these uh, hippopotus, whatever, these hippo things are so hard to catch. So let's just do a battle. Or not. It <laughs> just instantly ran away. Uh, what? <laughs> Excuse me? It powered on. <laughs> this is the alpha. Uh, I guess it's invisible. Wow, while I was finding that peat block, I got so much of my team leveled up. We've already got four of them ready to evolve. Well, let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so Ursa Ring evolves into Ursa Luna by using a peat block during a full moon. So I've just been sleeping over and over again to get a full moon and now we can evolve it. I actually think Ursa Luna looks pretty cool. It's definitely the upgrade that uh, Ursa Rang needed because this is a whole lot cooler than Ursa Rang is. And it's a ground type too. You know, even though I'm not using it, Drift Bloom is actually uh, a Pokemon I really like. In fact, I used it on my very first Nuzlocke, and it carried me through a pretty tough fight. All right, let's move on with the story. 
Oh yeah, I caught I caught so many Pokemon off camera. And there's the unknown and just a lot of other stuff. Yeah. Got some good pay too. Wow, I'm already really close to getting my fourth star. Oh yeah, totally forgot to add. I went and bought a whole bunch of new clothes. And I like this look a lot better than the other uh, outfit you're given. Alright, what is it now? Oh, and the cook dude's here too. Yep, I just got a giant bear in my pocket I can literally pull out any time. Alright, now we're going for the real frenzied Pokemon. Man, this guy's teaching thing gets expensive really fast. And it's only one extra item slot every time. Alright, so we gotta use Ursa Luna to go find a Rizu. Yeah, so we just gotta follow the the blue signal. Here she is. Alright, now it looks like I gotta do the same boss fight with the Lilligant. Oh, here we are. Let's do this. Oh, so you can just dodge right through things and just not take damage. Alright, I swear I'm getting better at this. Never mind. I'm not even, like, being careful. I'm just chucking them. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's do this. Now, I'm fairly certain Lilligant is actually quad weak to flying. So, we just throw out... Heck, we could probably just throw out a strong style aerial ace. And this is going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, okay. Oh, come on. I'm like dodging to the side. Wow, that's a lot of XP. Nice. Man, I definitely could have done better though. I kept dodging to the side instead of in towards the circle. Oh well. Got the meadow plate. Alright, well there we go. That's another frenzied Pokemon done. Alright, well I think that means that the story in Crimson Marlins is pretty much over. So I'm just gonna catch a few more Pokemon before I head to the next area. Twenty minutes later. Alright, I think I'm ready to move on. Yep. <laughs> Just a ghastly. I did get a lot of uh, other Pokedex work done, though. So, that's good. Holy cow, I've almost gotten Dark Tricks completely done. Do I seriously eat, like, the same thing every day? Alright, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Please do consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing to the channel. Next episode, we're gonna see what next area we go to. And uh, probably calm down the frenzied Pokemon there. Uh, until then, goodbye.